Hey, this is Tyler with Diesel Geek. Today's video is actually an excerpt from our full length, full detail injection pump reseal video. The procedure that we're going to be demonstrating is what we do after we perform a head seal replacement so we can check our work and make sure the pump is going to perform as, as intended. Um, <clears throat> it's actually a really good troubleshooting technique though if you have a vehicle with starting issues and you suspect that they might be the result of the injection pump leaking or the fuel bleeding down and losing prime. Um, <clears throat> if you like what you see, we offer the full injection pump reseal video as a purchase uh, on our website, dieselgeek.com. However, it's offered for free when you purchase a injection pump seal kit from us. Um, so, Without further ado, what we're going to be doing is just pinching off the uh, three rubber lines that attach to the injection pump and then applying vacuum to the pump case. So uh, grab your Mighty Vac and your pinch off pliers and let's go out to the car and check this thing out. So we're going to begin by pinching off all three rubber lines that lead to and from the injection pump. That'll be the cloth braided line coming off the number four injector as well as the supply and return lines between the pump and the fuel filter. And so what we have now, we have a totally sealed off injection pump. Supplies closed, returns closed, this is closed these eight connections are closed. The only thing we have open is this barb right here. When we apply vacuum to this barb, it'll hold. And so we're applying vacuum. It's dropping down. But it's not dropping down all the way. And so we're just going to keep pulling vacuum. And that vacuum's continuing to build as we remove the air from this pump. You can also use this as a diagnostic test. So if you have a car that doesn't run and you suspect that it has lost prime due to a leaky pump, you can just test it. You just vacuum test the pump. So practically speaking, with these kind of cheapo vacuum pumps, you're really only going to get to about 15 or 16 inches of mercury. But we can see right there, that's just holding there at 15 inches of mercury or 16 inches of mercury, which tells us that this pump is holding vacuum, which tells us that we did a good job with our reseal. If we'd rolled our head seal or something like that, then this would, it might build up a little bit, but it would slowly bleed off. Um, and so really if it's, if it's, holding vacuum for about as long as we've been talking here, um, then this pump's holding vacuum pretty well and, and it'll, it'll run. So at this point, priming's really easy. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this connection from the supply to the pump. Manual cars, this line's clear, so you can actually see the fuel just rush in there. And as the fuel rushes in, you'll see that vacuum drop down. And so if we look here in this clear hose, we don't have too much vacuum left because the fuel's displaced it. We'll just go ahead and prime a little bit more. It shouldn't be too long before we start to see some fuel come up that line. All right, there you go. There's your, there's your fuel slug right there.
that's a that's a pump that's priming up nice and happy. Um, trying to run too much diesel through your mighty back. So at this point, we can slip our return line back on here. Open that up. Very, very important. Don't forget to take your line off your return. Otherwise, that causes problems. Now we're going to open up these four flare lines. A quarter turn. And crank the motor over. And we'll see the fuel jump out there. So we've got a nice prime on those high pressure lines. We'll snug these down. Again, 15 foot pounds. You can damage these lines by over tightening them, so don't do that. Okay, so that's the way that's supposed to go, but if the pump never gets to the point where it holds a vacuum, odds are you do have an injection pump seal leak and you'll need to get that taken care of before the car's gonna start properly or hold prime or start without a bunch of chugging and smoke. Thanks for watching.